Hi there, my name is Ramon and let's learn some Azure programming. Today let's talk about displaying detailed error messages when you get a HTTP 500 error similar to this one. The problem here is that we don't have enough information or clues to help us debug or troubleshoot the error. What we have here is a MVC4 application that's running on Windows Azure. It has a our, our Windows Azure project has a web ro role that's pointing to our MVC application. So let's run it again just to see. So we have on the output window we have Windows Azure running and we get the 500 error. If we look at the emulator we can see our MVC for application being started. To solve the problem, the first thing that we have to do is we need to create a startup command and then we have to register that startup command to our service definition configuration file. And then inside our startup command, we have some code there that will enable IAS to display detailed messages for HTTP error. So let's walk through the process. First, let's add our startup command into our project. Let me close this and then I'm going to pull up my Solution Explorer. On my MVC project, I'm going to right click and click on Add New Item. And then I'm going to type here, I'm going to call this startup.cmd. And that creates the um, startup command inside our project. The next is we need to set the properties of the copy to output directory set it to to copy always this will allow our setup command to be copied to the bin folder okay the next step is we need to define the startup.cmd into our service definition file I'm going to open this and from here under the web root, inside the web root, I'm going to type, I'm going to add in the startup tag. And under the tag, I'm going to add in the task. And inside the task, the name of the command line, which is in this case, startup.cmd. Uh, not startup.cmd. Start, start um, the, ex the execution content, which is elevated and the task type is going to be a background. I'm just going to format this a little bit and save. Um, the next step is we need to write the actual code on the startup task that we have. So I'm going to start writing it. Say echo on and then I'm going to try the WinDAR environment variable and say system32 inet fdr apps cmd exe and then I'm going to set config for the for the system that web server section and its subsection which is HTTP errors and then I'm going to say error mode plus detailed okay and save I'm going to add another command here um, it's the same command but it's using a different environment variable. So I'm going to start typing um, app cmd environment variable and then what I'll do is I'm going to just copy and paste the parameter because it's the same same command and let's try and run this and see if it will give us the detailed error message. And there you go. Um, 
this is the detailed message and then from here we could say that we have an invalid um, tag in our web config so let's go ahead and fix that it's on line 11 this one here I'm going to remove that and then I'm going to save this and run the application again and hopefully this time it will be fixed And there you go it's 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 fixed um, so I just showed you how we could enable a detailed message from a 500 internal error um, in the meantime I hope that this video is helpful and I'll see you in the next video